hello. I hope you can hear me over the fan. But today is June 1st. It's a Tuesday. I am going to, I believe, I think I'm going to go to the Daniel Webster Wildlife Sanctuary again, which is the last place you saw me at as well. I didn't vlog yesterday because I just kind of sat at my desk all day and I'll insert pictures that I edited yesterday here for a sneak preview. Ooh. And um, yeah, so that's what's going on. I'm gonna go take pictures and lather myself in bug spray and probably wear boots because it was rainy this week, so. Welcome back. Less blue skies today than last time, but that's okay. I've got my boots on because it rained the other day, last time I wore sneakers. Uh, I think it's really interesting. Right now, I'm not super close to the pond, but you can see how the soil is super wet, and that's usually a characteristic of wetland species. They grow in really wet soil, hence wetlands. And then you can see as the landscape changes, it gets drier that way and drier this way. Something to note, a field note, if you will. <laughs> but. It's really pretty today. More people I've seen. Um, so yeah, look at all this. Crazy. Last time I was here, I don't know if I have a clip from that, but this was not this damp and wet. We've had a lot of rain this weekend and it totally has shown how this is a wetland and landscape even more so because it does have water that fills it while especially when we get heavy rainfall other day none of this was like this oh my gosh there's so many big birds too like every i think that oh <laughs> speaking of birds i think they're all getting food because of like the soil being nicely disturbed in a way. I don't know if you can see this or hear it, but there are a ton of little field mice, I think, in this area. There's a field right around here, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my gosh. A woman just scared me because I'm trying to be aware of my surroundings, but oh my god, look, they're everywhere. I wonder if there's a snake nearby. Oh, I'm praying for you. They're everywhere. Wow. Oh, I hope you can hear them. It's so weird. Oh, there they are. They're all going this way. They're running away from me. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? But, anywho. Field mice. To know, I know at the other place, I heard a lot of, like, the road, because the road wasn't too far away, and everything. And on this one, a lot of planes. I don't know if the plane, yep, there it goes. Because I believe the Marshfield Airport's right there. And now I'm gonna head out to the grassland, which still has some like wetland areas because this used to be, I believe, a big marsh, salt marsh. I read the little intro before it was drained by, I believe, Daniel Webster to make his farmland. I guess that's the fun thing about being a creative person in a, like, who is very interested in science and like in a science project, is that I approach things a little bit differently, but I still am like so curious. Um, Cause uh, the way that like the world's created and everything and how it's put together, like over here there's this field, it's almost like a work of art itself. I don't know, does that make any sense? <laughs> I don't know. All right, see you in a second. Look at all those ferns. Cute. The water has come up quite high. You can see, probably due to the rain. There's a lot of rustling and I don't know what it is. The insects, the birds, who knows? I would go a little bit farther. I can't really go very far on the river walk trail, 
but I don't think I have it in me today. My legs are getting a little tired. I still want to make sure I can get back <laughs> to my vehicle. Um, so I'm going to do that now. But very pretty, the Riverwalk Trail. I hope I can explore it more. But overall, really cool. And I should be aware that maybe if it rains super heavy, I won't be able to go to the Riverwalk Trail because it looked like just from the past two days rain, which was a lot, or three days rain, it was a lot. Um, it still is quite high up. Ooh, bird, ooh. I'm like a dog. <laughs> okay, anywho. It's one of those quieter parts of where it's more windy as I'm walking back to my car. And right now, there's no one in front or behind me. I'm gonna try to be aware. <laughs> um, I can't believe it's week three already for my project. I'm gonna be a little reflective, I suppose, about my project. Um, I knew it was the beginning of week three, but it's been going by so fast. And there's so much I want to do. And definitely I'm hearing what everyone said at all like the seminars where like sometimes you have to understand that the project's not gonna go the exact way you plan it. You just have to go with the flow and it will work out. Like keep working at your idea that you wanna go with, but also go in the direction that interests you and everything and like right this week I wanted to be going to a third place but the weather had changed my plans last week and this week because it was too hot some days to really even go out and be in a place for an extended period and then last week it was super rainy and this week it's there's more rain but I think more days I'll be able to go out it's just knowing what I can do in the time I have. Hello, it is, oh, me. there's no one around me. All right, hello, it is June 2nd. So that's exciting. And it's Wednesday. I am currently again at the Daniel Webster uh, Wildlife Sanctuary in Marshfield. It's the morning and I'm going to go take it on. I have my boots on again, because again, we had wet weather over the weekend, so mushier in some areas. So I know it's probably a day to dry, but. And I have a jacket on. I really probably don't need a jacket, but I like to cover my arms because mosquitoes. And I'm going to go spray myself with bug spray and hydrate. So I'm here again. I might try to do the river trail today, or, sorry, I'm like looking to, because I thought I saw something. Um, yeah, and there's just a tripod here. Like, I don't know why it's just next to my car. Don't know whose it is. It's a nice one. Don't know why they just leave it. Maybe they trust people. Who knows? Anywho, yeah, so I'm about to go explore. The birds are incredibly active today. They're like flying high. And like usually they're flying around, but they're wicked loud today. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's time of day, but I've been here in the morning before. So, hmm. <sighs> they're everywhere. They're so pretty. <sighs> My shadow's in it, but all that stuff that has the yellow top. That's pineapple weed. All right, so pineapple weed, if you squish the top of it and then smell it, it smells like pineapple. And once you start seeing it, it you see it everywhere. And I met the guy, I might have told you this already, it was the guy who worked at the Mass Audubon who told me about this. And he said that once you start seeing it, like you notice it everywhere. And it grows primarily in like disrupted dry soil. So there you go. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> I usually don't come from this angle. When I've been here, I usually come from like over there. It looks so pretty. All the pink little flowers are purpley pink in the field. The water's a bit calmer today.
back here again. Trying this trail again. The water's still up a little. It definitely lowered since yesterday, I believe. Because uh, yesterday it was quite high. Uh, it still is. It's very pretty. This is definitely a mosquito breeding ground because this is a ton of still water, which is what mosquitoes need to do their thing. Oh my God. Hopefully this isn't too shaky. All this conservation land. There's so much um, wetland area here. Like, look at all that. All of this. The rest of that trail doesn't look super walked, so I don't really know if I want to go there. But at least, like, look at that. Crazy. How tall this stuff gets. So it's over my head. This is the Fox Hill part of the trail. I haven't really seen it. Um, I'm currently waiting to walk back towards the pond loop area because there's lots of wetlands, plants and stuff there. But um, when I went to my little outlook spot, uh, there were two photographers and three tripods and the whole nine yards, so I was like, they'll be here for a bit. There's a little sitting area. I'm also noticing in this area, not to be, I was looking at bird, not to be TMI, but there's more poops from like a big animal, so I'm trying to be aware of my surroundings. This guy is closer than it actually looks on camera. He's like eight feet away from me. Bunnies never let me get this close. I guess that's part of the situation when you have a walking trail at a wildlife sanctuary. They kind of get used to humans. Interesting. There's also what I like to call the penguin bird over there. I took some pictures of it. I'll insert them now if they're any good. <laughs> um, I really hope they are. I tried really hard. And this guy's just staring at me. He's, he's like, I'm just trying to eat my lunch. You know what, I'll go around you. I'm not gonna, okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm going this way. Okay. All right. Yep. That's fine. This is so random. I wonder if this is left over from before it became this because those are bricks. Like for sure those are bricks. So I know this used to be like Daniel Webster's farm, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, so I know it's 2022 now. This is from 2021. This was my summer project and I'm just now getting around to editing all of the vlogs from that and there's a lot. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram. Bye.